Girl, kung kaya. Who's na kasi kung hot? Now, I think we should begin with the... Again, do you think world peace is attainable? Why or why not? Um, thank you for that question. Um, I believe I believe that there is a possibility that we can attain world peace. Um, however, in this generation, we all have different perspectives, we have different beliefs, we have different ideas and thoughts. So, so the, the world peace is not really that easy to be attained. Good answer. Kai, Mr. UN, what is your stand about globalization? Uh, thank you, Paul, for that wonderful question. Um, for me, there for globalization, there are ups and downs. Globalization is the trading, is the sharing of ideas, views, and uh, uh, knowledge. However, uh, it has lots of benefits like uh, sharing medicine, uh, knowledge about uh, medicine, health, knowledge about uh, uh, education, things like that. However, it is also a very, uh, very detrimental to, it is very detrimental because it is also very easy to spread hate. Yeah, globalization can spread hate through social media, through the news, uh, and through other ways. Thank you. Thank you so much for your answers, Grayson. Okay, love. That's <laughs> good. You're just a very golden glory, you know. Thank you. <laughs> now, let's begin with the Q&A. was established. Again, what do you think is the reason why the United Nations was established? Good morning everyone. United Nations was established to create diversity in our society. Uh, it is to create a peaceful living and a society where discrimination and negativity do not exist, where people can live in a positive life and where we can express ourselves in our own ways. Thank you. Reserve your cheers after the questions, guys. 
Again, if you were the Secretary General of the United Nations, what would you do to prevent war between two nations? To prevent from being ongoing, no man. Diba? Ano kayo mabuhat? Tara na ito ni Sidney. Tara na ito ni Sidney. Thank you for the question. If I were the Secretary General of the of two the United Nations, I would settle both of the countries to make peace, to so acknowledge each other's existence, so they can live in harmony. To let. their existence so that people can live together in harmony so that they can still enjoy themselves peacefully. Thank you for the question. Thank you so much. Now how are you, how are you Ate Kuya? <laughs> I feel very happy to be here today. I feel thankful for everyone that has supported me. <laughs> Thank you. Face. Now, let us begin to the Q&A. Hello. Hello. Now, why do you think Poverty breeds other social illness. Again, why do you think poverty breeds other social illness? I think poverty breeds other social illnesses because as humans, we prioritize our basic needs, especially our food, our clothes, and the basic necessities to live in this world. Thus, to survive, sometimes people really tend to do immoral things, just like robbery, crimes and scams, to make money. Because in the world today, we, can, we really cannot live without money. And that is all. Thank you. Thank you for your Thank you for that question. The UN established the uh, Sustainable Development Goals for every nation because ultimately, we live in the same earth. When unstoppable development is hindering, uh, is, is consuming uh, the finite resources of the earth, ultimately, this unstoppable development will ruin us. Sustainable development allows us to plan ahead. It creates a plan so that once the limitation of limited resources here on Earth is fixed, we can then start improving ourselves incrementally to promote uh, uh, equality and to achieve all our goals as humans. And I thank you. You may, you may return to your places now. Thank you so much. Uh, 